Sections of this 390-foot wall have received a major facelift with the hard work of artist Neville Legal, Walter Bailey, Don Small and Raina King. Mr. Legal, the lead artist, says the project conceived by former UWI principal Professor the Most Honorable Eudine Barato showcased a collection of Caribbean culture. The UA is an original institution, not just Barbadian. And I thought of um, things that would stand out, that would be recognizable as regional, not just Barbadian. I felt um, culture very important. And when I think of the four characters in the Caribbean, when I travel through various islands and see some of the events, some, I've been to some of the festivals, you see certain four characters standing out. Stiltsmen, um, you see Tak Ban, you see uh, still, uh, pan, pan Men. And so I felt these are things that are recognizable as Caribbean. And in any island, they feature. And so I developed my idea from there. Young artist Rena King is pleased to be a part of the project. I was really excited in getting to add my own twist and color to this mural with the, some of the characters. And yeah, it was really, really fun just hearing his concept and knowing that this is an important project. I grew up in the U.S., but I still have very deep roots in Barbados. I was born here, so just being able to contribute to this was really important and special to me. Meanwhile, Don Small believes there should be a greater appreciation for the arts in Barbados. Children that have that little interest in art, try not to kill it. Don't say that art doesn't take you anywhere, because I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher at the Frederick Smith Secondary School, and I try to inspire as much as I possibly can. The mural is becoming an attraction for some. However, funding is needed to enable the painting of additional pieces. Already I'm hearing that persons are shooting music videos in front of the murals. So we, want, we would like to see why the Barbados get involved. The UE needs funding so that we can con complete phase two. Phase two of the project will see the completion of the entire wall. Joshua Hinkson, CBC News.